Oh, well, hello there. And thank you for joining us on this beautiful day, night, wherever it is, whatever it is you're at. Welcome to MoFo RC. Tonight, tonight, today, night, tonight, we have a very special recording for you. This is the first in a series of servo tests we're going to be doing. Um, these servo tests are going to be very, very comprehensive. We are going to do as much science or science, science, science as we possibly can in these tests. We are going to try to maximize the thorough put of Science? I, I don't know what to I don't know what to call it. We're gonna try to do these damn tests to the best frickin' possibility of outcome as we can find. We're going to be doing oh, torque test, speed test, different voltages tests. Um we're gonna disassemble the servos and see what's the gear sizing on the inside you know how strong might these gears be on the innards of the servos uh we're going to be dropping them in a three foot tub of water which would normally be considered a iso oh gosh i forgot the name an iso something or other test iso 65 maybe seven four iso 67 i don't know look it up and find out whatever three foot of depth at 30 minutes of time underwater consists of because uh here's the thing with water here's the weird thing with water when you have a tub or a tube or an ocean full of water the weight of the water pushing down upon whatever it is under the water, you, fish, a crab, lobster, a servo that somehow fell in the ocean, whatever that is, um, the weight of the, just, just the molecules and matter of water. Mmm, that's good. The weight of that <clears throat> pushing down upon whatever's under there, we're going to call it a servo in this case, right? You got three feet of water pushing down on this servo. Only really matters in the, what do you call that? The surface area of the servo underneath the exact surface area of the water, okay? So the water pushing down upon a servo, let's say my hand is flat, whatever it is, however the circumference of my hand in a, a diameter, kinda sorta, the amount of water upon the top of my hand the exact same circumference pushing down on it creates the extra pressure, which just shoves, shoves water in. Now, I believe the ISO certification also includes dust and like, I don't know, wind, rain, uh, you know, underwater, obviously. Um, it includes several things. And it's only the amount of water on the exact circumference of the servo. So if you're three foot deep in a three inch tube, right? Or if you're three foot deep in a 7,000 mile long ocean, the weight of three foot of water is exactly the same because it's only directly above the servo or the person or fish or whatever the frig it is 
that creates the pressure, okay? The, the surrounding outards doesn't really have an effect like the weight of what's on top of it does. That's where the pressure comes from. The weight on top shoves down on top of whatever the circumference is. You know, I keep saying circumference. I don't even know why I'm saying circumference. It's not a circle, obviously, right? A servo is not a circle, so it's not the circumference. It's just the outer square footage measured in millimeters, in our case, of the weight of the water on top the outer square millimeters of whatever the frig it is, okay? So, here's what we got. I totally lost my train of thought, but here's what we're doing. We're taking a bunch of servos in this series of tests, uh, a bunch of the most popular servos. Um, you know, the cheap ones you can find on Amazon, uh, the slightly more pricey ones you can find on Amazon, um, the expensive ones you can find on Amazon, then the craft servos, right? The real servos, the ones that are backed by an American company uh, that's in the USA that gives a crap about their customers, that offers warranties that really matter, and that just has a person behind it that you can talk to. Okay, we're going to measure all these things. Uh, the speed, the torque, the sound, how loud they are. We're going to take them apart afterwards. After we do all these tests, we're going to take the screws out of them, pull them apart, and look at the gears. How thick are the gears? Uh, what are they made of? You know, if I can determine what they're made of, because a lot of the servos don't say exactly what they're made of on the gears. Uh, the MoFo RC servos do say that they are steel, and they are steel. Some servos just say metal gear, metal gear servo. Is it pot metal? Is it brass? Is it copper? I don't have a way to test that uh, as far as like strength goes. I just don't. Um, I don't have the equipment here. Uh, if you've seen my preface video to this one, you've seen that I, you've seen that I said we've spent over, we'll just say over three grand in the testing equipment that is going to be involved in this and uh, plus the servos, right? And it's actually gone beyond that. Uh, now, let me explain how it, gone, how it went beyond that. It was gonna be, I guesstimated, about three grand. We bought a bunch of servos, um, a bunch of servos. There's approximately 20 that we're going to be testing. Maybe more. We'll see how long this test go, really goes on for. But uh, 20 servos anywhere from $15, $10, all the way up to $180. And we're going to be testing them. Uh, and then there's not just the servo price. There's the price of what it costs for the equipment we needed to, to buy for these tests. Uh, and some of the equipment was fairly inexpensive. Some of it was kind of it, kind of not too expensive. Some of it was just expensive. So <clears throat> on top of all that, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm sitting in, on a couch right now. This doesn't look like a normal video I've done. Um, most of my videos are like a close-up shot of my face right upon wherever the heck the camera's at. Let's see what I can do with this. I'm looking at an app right now. What can I do with this app? I don't even know what I can do with this right now. What is going on right now? Uh... Nope, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna touch any more buttons because I don't wanna mess it up. But I'm looking at an app right now of myself. I'll show you. That is apparently what you're seeing. And I can watch it myself 
and see what you're seeing at the same time I'm seeing what you're seeing or whatever. So the thing is, uh, we spent a lot of money not just on the servos, not just on the test equipment, but also on video footage equipment and audio equipment to make the videos in the future better. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos this year. It's 2024. We're changing stuff up big time in 2024. Uh, this year is going to be very, very different from what you're used to seeing. We're going to be doing a lot more review videos, a lot more show off videos, a lot more show and tell videos, a lot more um, explanatory videos. We're going to redo all the instructional videos. I hope, hopefully we're going to have time to do all that. Uh, we're going to do a lot. We're going to be doing a lot of videos this year. I'm talking, I, I would love ideally to do three videos a week if possible. And, uh, you know, I got the time mostly, um, to do at least one or two, maybe three videos a week. So we're going to be trying to do things a lot differently. Um, this video right now is a preface of a preface. It's the, it's the, uh, what the heck would you call that? Cause I've already done a preface video. It's the second preface. I don't know. I don't know what the other word is for it. This is the second preface video. And this time you're watching me on a $2,000 camera. Uh, well, it was like 1400 bucks, a $1,400 camera and a $300 microphone system that's wireless. So you can hear me when I'm way the heck away here and there's no microphones over here. This is wireless. That's not plugged into my computer right now. It's wireless as well. Um, we're updating everything around here to make better content for all of you guys and gals because we love you here at MoFo RC and we really want to do the best we can uh, and make some really great stuff for you guys to enjoy. And that, that's the best part about it. Really great stuff you guys can enjoy that I can enjoy doing for you because I love doing this too. I love sitting here talking to y'all, hearing feedback, seeing what you have to say. I'm sorry I got in a soapbox. Let's talk about the tests. Uh, we have a totally freaking brand new setup courtesy of me and uh, my pocketbook, but suggestively courtesy of an SDRC. Mark, thank you for putting out your video of how to properly test servos because uh, I was going to do some janky shit and just have some entertainment. And, uh, and Mark went ahead and saw the fact that I was going to do some janky shit. Apparently probably got a little peed off. I'm not going to lie. He was probably a little peed off the fact that I was going to do some janky shit and said, you know what? I'm gonna put a video out. I'm gonna show how to properly test servos. If you're interested in how to properly test servos, which I was interested in it, uh, you can go to youtube.com and search NSDRC. And if you just punch that in, you'll find a channel that says, I believe it says NSDRC team or team channel or team talk. I don't know what it says. I can't remember, but I'm pretty gosh darn certain. If you search NSDRC on YouTube, you will find the video of him. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to leave your presence for a minute being slightly pissed off. And it's understandable. Um, you know, people like me and other content creators slash whatever you call them, 
make videos and they test things and they do whatever the heck they're doing. And uh, sometimes it's not accurate. And so he posted a video of how to properly test stuff. And I took his video footage and what he said. And I made my own tester, which I hope is up to the standards and specifications of what he's saying. I tried to get exactly every piece in his video that he showed to put on mine, my own testing board of solid freaking metal, unmovable shit, threaded into things and tightened in a force gauge. And we have a, uh, an extra added on thing here. We have a decibel meter. So we'll see how much noise the servos put out. And we have over here the amp meter plugged in. So we got an amp meter on over there. You can't see it right now. We have an amp meter on or an amp meter on the, uh, the actual power supply. And we have one right here on this little doohickey here, my servo testing equipment machine slot thingy digger. We got it right here, we got it over there, we got a double blind standard test. This meter is certified, where's it at? Oh, I got the certification card right here. Certified brand, spanking new, with the little thing here, the certified stamp. This is the model number at the very bottom here. It's got a check mark there. It's certified. This will show exactly what we're looking for, what we're testing for. 